going to talk about getting the right burn. Before I get into it, though, please, if you like this video and it's helpful, please like and subscribe. It, it'll help me a lot. So here we have the image that I used for the engraving that I'm going to be showing you guys. Next, I'm going to go over all the different images before I say anything about it. Okay, so back to the original image that I used for engraving. Looking at this image, you can see the brightest areas are going to be the sun, maybe this building over here, uh, maybe over here a little bit. Uh, those are the brightest areas of this image, right? So if we look at my engraving after I did it, especially when we zoom in right here, you can see the sun actually is a little bit darker than the area around it. It clearly is not the brightest area anymore. The reason that this happened was I overburned the image. Um, wood and slate uh, specifically, uh, also scratch paper, all show overburn very easily. Whereas a black business card and uh, maybe painted tile, those those type of materials aren't gonna you're not gonna see the overburn as easy uh, with those types of materials simply because it doesn't burn into the tile um, or the metal business card. So you would think. A lot of people think, okay, well, less power, change the settings, but I already know my settings are where they need to be for Slate. So I quickly realized that what the problem was, because I always use the same settings for Slate, I already recognized the problem right away. I forgot to adjust the image um, to make sure that there wouldn't be overburn. Uh, when I ran it. It's a lot easier to adjust the image than to adjust the settings uh, to try to compensate for overburn. So once you know that you did an image that came out pretty good um, with a certain material and you feel confident that the settings are dialed in really good, what you're going to want to do is you have two different options. There's a lot of options, but you could simply, okay, so we'll go over a couple, probably three or four of them. You could simply lower your DPI. You could lower your power settings or speed up the engraving. Or what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to lower the brightness of this image right here. So you can do that. I did an image R um, after the fact, and this was the result. This is it before. Let's zoom in. You can see, just like I was talking about, this is supposed to be the bright. This is a negative. So your darkest areas are going to be your lightest areas when you engrave, right? That's what's going to burn the most look at the areas that are the brightest because I didn't edit the image at all. The brightest areas are solid dark, solid black. You do not want to burn solid uh, unless you're doing it specifically for a specific reason. Um, you can see it over here. So this is full white, um, the bright, bright, full white, bright, right here, right here, some over here on this building. So any of these areas in the water, any of these areas in the clouds as well, though they are going to not only overburn so that you lose some of your uh, grayscale, uh, it's actually going to invert it back to being darker rather than lighter. So it's not going to only overburn and make you lose some of your shading, but it's actually going to reverse shading. Um, which is what we saw here. 
That's why this is actually darker. The sun, which is supposed to be the brightest, is actually slightly darker than some of the areas to the left over here because these areas didn't overburn. Uh, whereas the sun, which is the brightest, actually did overburn uh, quite a bit. So I would recommend at first, when, when you're first working with images, you check the dither. You can choose a different dither. That's another option that another dither might not have um, the solid engraving areas. Um, so take a look at the different dithers. Uh, but ultimately, the easiest option just to get a better looking image quickly is simply to lower your brightness a little bit or um if it's if it's inverted if it's not inverted you're going to want to raise your darker colors some same thing it doesn't matter if it's inverted or not inverted it's the same principle inverted images you're going to uh, lower your brightness and normal standard images you're going to be raising your darks a little bit to get away from those solids you don't want anything solid um, again unless it's very thin lines or if you're doing it on purpose for some reason that will cause a lot of the issues that people have when they think that their settings are off or different problems like that a lot of the times that's not what it is a lot of times it's the actual image so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. This is just a short little help video um, when it comes to getting the right burn. Um, again, if you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. It really will help, and I'll be able to keep making videos for everybody. Thank you.